Hi, survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. I want to talk to you guys briefly about the tensions that are rising overseas. I don't know if you heard, but um, there was a bridge bombing, a major, major bridge bombing that occurred over there in R U S S S. Dash I dash A. And if it's your first time um, listening to my videos, I have to talk like in codes <laughs> because of the heavily uh, the heavy censorship that's amongst a lot of prepper channels. So, however, so um, after that that occurred, and this bridge was just built in 2018. It, it's like four years old. After that, we hear that same place that I just try try to uh what do you call them? abbreviate to you not abbreviate but spell to you guys they bomb cities across the opposing um the opposing country at rush hour in apparent rev revenge strike and y'all i pay attention it's important for us to pay attention that goes on over there because we know that the con this country leaders got their nose all up in it allegedly all this corruption and so we we want to pay attention to what's going on especially things like this because we don't know if that leader over there if he thought that it came from um other countries who are defending you know their opponent uh country that um they allege that they are in w dash a dash r with so it says the russia bomb cities across ukraine at rush hour an apparent revenge strike. It says that Russia bombed cities across Ukraine. I said the words, and I don't like doing that. During rush hour on Monday morning, killing civilians and destroying infrastructure. In apparent revenge strikes after the president P U T I N declared an explosion on the bridge to Crimea to be a terrorist terrorist attack. Missiles torn into Ky Kyiv. The most intense strikes on the capital since Russia abandoned an attempt to capture capture it in the early weeks of the war. Explosions were also reported in Lviv, Lviv, Chernobyl, and Zydomir in Ukraine's west. DNIPRO and uh, Kremenchuk in central Ukraine in the south and Kar. Kharkiv in the east. A witness in Russia, Belgorod region near the Ukrainian, Ukrainian border also heard a blast from the border's area. In Kyiv, attack struck in the heart of the busy city center. The body of a man in jeans lay in the street at a major intersection surrounded by flaming cars. In a park, a soldier cut through the clothes of a woman who lay in the grass to try to treat her wounds another woman was bleeding nearby city police said at least five people have been killed and 12 wounded now we know also on the bombing of that bridge people were actually there were cars um on that bridge driving and and, and when that bridge was bombed all that blew up and whatnot. Y'all, this is a lot. This 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 is a lot. It's awful. Uh, it says more volleys of missiles struck the capital again late in the morning. Pedestrians huddled for shelter at the entrance of metro stations and inside parking garages. They are trying to destroy us and wipe us off the face of this earth. Uh, the president over there in uh, UKR um, stated on the Telegram messaging app, the air raids sirens do not subside throughout um, U-K-R-A-I-N-E. There, there are missiles hitting. Unfortunately, they are dead and wounded. Wow, 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 wow. And another reason why I, I pay attention to what's going on over there, because, y'all, like I, I, I always say, this is, this is a global thing that's going on um, around the world. There's some ugly, nasty agendas. And I'm going to say, I think all these leaders are in on it. Allegedly. We're seeing them usher in all kinds of insanities. Over here in the in the States, we're seeing them let criminals back on the streets and 
all this crime that's ravaging our cities. We see all this heavy inflation. And like I told you guys, when this W-A-R first started, don't think it won't happen over here. For some reason, a lot of people in America, that's why a lot of people are not prepping. A lot of people are not paying attention to what's going on. They're thinking that, that life is getting back to normal. I don't know how they feel that way. Because there's nothing normal that's going on in this world right now, y'all. And it, it would just behoove us not to be afraid, but to be prepared and get our minds ready for all these types of things and get our bodies and get our houses in order as much as we possibly can. This is the era of people being displaced, whether it be by wars, whether it be by storms, uh, whether it be by, you know, all this heavy inflation and people losing their jobs and people losing their homes, all kinds of madness is going on. We are living in states of emergencies. So we have to keep some money put up. We have to keep a lot of canned goods, lung perishables, a lot of water, you know, ways of purifying our water, just all the basic things, generators if you can, because we just never know when something crazy and absurd going to hit because craziness is already going on to me if you ask me, you know. So, I, you know, I don't want to go into reading all of this. They're basically talking about the um, counterattacks after that bomb, um, that bomb on that bridge. Y'all, and, and, and the crazy part about it, another reason why we have to pay attention, these things are affecting regular people like you and I. Regular people, pedestrians, people, regular residents, people who just ride in their cars, going to certain destinations and stuff like that. You know, people over their homes and things being bombed and stuff like that, man. And I pay attention so I can prepare myself mentally. Okay, if and when this occur over here, what do I need to do? You know, if I already have my mind right, I done won 90% of the battle. Because a lot of people, when things occur nowadays, they're not ready for it. You know, it's just so much going on. We were not ready for this pandemic. How that just all of a sudden came about. So now, I mean, I, I just, I mean, I just feel like anything could happen at any given time and as preppers we just have to prepare ourselves mentally for it stay prayed up stay prayed up prayer changes things keeps your mind and your faith strong you know eat healthy work out stretch do what you can to keep your body strong as well as your mind all the good things, y'all. Meditating, reading some scriptures, all the good things, man, because we are living in emergency eras and we don't know when it's going to be amongst us. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't gone to prepperzan.com, please do. I'm waiting to send you guys out the first newsletter. I'm excited about it. I'm sending out free newsletters. All you have to do is sign up at prepperzan.com. Scroll down, send us your email. And you can also check out some things that's on the prepper page, you know, while you're preparing uh, for your survivalism. If you see any survivalism gear, things of that nature that you might be interested in and you'd like to support the channel, that'd be great too. I still have a lot of things on the old website that I haven't transferred over, but you guys give me some time. I will also get that done. But in the meanwhile, go to prepresent.com. Uh, Send us your email address so we can start getting those free newsletters out. I haven't started sending them yet because I want to get as many email addresses as I possibly can to get you guys all this good information. I'm doing this underground because they're censoring us on a lot of the um, the videos, pulling down the videos and all that. So if I have to tell the truth underground, I'll do so. Please follow me on my other platforms, which would be BitChute and Patreon. I have a backup um a backup Prepper Zan page, a channel here on YouTube. Links are all in the description. And you guys, please support the allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirts if you can. If you'd like to support the channel, hit the thanks button. All the proceeds go back into the channel. And if you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas, we do have some for sale and for lease when you're ready to get out of these crazy cities. When the SHTF. And as always, please watch this world Watch the weather, smell your water, boil and purify your water before you use it and keep surviving.